Hello, my crafty peeps. How are you? I hope you're all having a good week so far. Um, this is Brenda with Snippity Doo Creations, and I am here to first give a shout out to Bear Claw Flowers, Michelle, and Veronica. Thank you guys so much for your comments and for subscribing. So I have a little project here today with a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, cardstock. Um, and I have my scoreboard. You're going to need a scoreboard and um, some scissors and your score scorer. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to show you today, I was um, inspired by Melina Pilot and um, she showed us how to do a uh, with a 12 by 12 sheet a template and I have my template right here and I'm going to show you how to do your template and then after you cut out your template you can basically um, trace this template onto uh, any paper so you don't have to if you want you don't have to uh, go through all the motions of um, <clears throat> scoring and everything so this is what I'm going to be showing you you can um, get the template it's I think a zigzag fold folder or something like that it was called sure not sure what it was called but it's fun it's really fun to make your front flips you have a pocket here and then the back opens up and then of course after it's made um actually i'll show you another one that i made that uh i just went all out and made it a little different um so this one the front pops out i put here instead of putting a pocket i put a belly band across and across across <laughs> and then um this comes out this part comes out and here i put a pocket with a bunch of little um, ephemera pieces in there. So as you can see, you can, after you get the template, you can uh, basically, I think, do different things with it. So let's get the template made. Okay, so you're going to have 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, this is, non-directional as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just going to put it down like this. If the buds are upside down, I don't care. We are going to lay it, of course, a 12 across. We are going to score at four, score at four, and score at eight. Got that. Four and eight, then we are going to turn one time and we are going to score at seven. Seven. Okay. That is our score lines. So I'm going to put this aside and then I am just going to go ahead and fold all my um, score lines. Just burnish them all down. This one here. And this one here. Okay, so these are all um, folded. Okay, so this is the top of your paper because this is the larger. This will be folding up like this when you decide what you want to fold up, okay? But first, sorry, we're gonna need our scoreboard again. 
So first we are going to, let's see, we're going to take the middle one. Uh, actually, sorry, we're going to put it in a Z. Fold it in a Z. That's part of the folding, okay? <sighs> I'm hoping I'm showing you this right. If it don't turn out right, well, I won't be showing the video. <laughs> so, okay, so we are going to take the middle section, and this is the taller section in the middle, okay? We're gonna turn the paper sideways on our scoreboard we are going to go to the ten and a half mark okay we are going to not score here do not score here but we're going to lightly follow the ten and a half mark down to here when you reach the first line here then you want to score down to the next line only okay so you want to want to go to the ten and a half lightly just follow this down get to your point first line score and then score down to the next line okay that is going to be a cutout so we're going to grab our scissors and I'm going to follow the line, the score line, down to the cross point right here. Same on this side, down to the cross point. Okay. And that even when I have lines to follow, I still can't do it straight. I'm going to fold this over so it will be a little easier to cut across. And then I'm going to cut right across this bottom line here. And, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to tell you my husband's outside mowing. So you will possibly hear the lawnmower. Okay, so we have the middle one cut off now. This one down here, the last one over, we're going to cut this at nine and a half. I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to score this at nine and a half. So, but instead of tracing all the way down like that, I'm going to flip this up to the scoreboard to the top, going to grab my bone folder, Actually, I'm going to grab my scoring tool and I am going to hit the nine and a half mark and just go down to this uh, first line. So nine and a half down. Okay. This is going to be our second cut out. So we're going to go down to that score line and then we're going to cut right across okay so this is what you should have right now like a little step down okay so when you fold it It'll be folded like this, okay? And you can, um, I always have some trimming to do, so I'm just going to clean up this little thing right here that's sticking out. Just, um, you know, uh, even it out if you can. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. On the template, What I did Okay, what I did on the template was I cut out this side and this side and left this one to fold up. 
else, okay? So that is what I'm going to do for this one. So you want to cut up this side we want to cut off and this side we want to cut off. So I'm going to cut up my line to the halfway mark or a little less than halfway mark and then I'm going to cut across there's one side then we are going to flip it over and either way you can cut up I guess I'll cut up this side first but you want to cut the other end end one off this one here And that is what you should end up with. This is how it should look, okay? Okay, let's see. This will fold up. This, I'm gonna cut, I'm just gonna trim this a little more because I want that to fold over. Like I said, I can have lines and still cut just as crooked as can be. Okay, this will fold up. And this will fold in the Z, okay? Trimming, just cleaning up here. Okay. So we have it folded in our Z. This one here, we are going to cut into a tag shape. This is the front, the front piece here. So I am going to take my template, just line it up on the side here. Cut that side, flip it over and cut, I'm gonna cut down the, the little line here and then I'm going to cut across to make my little, my little um, shape here. So this is going to be your front flip. Sorry, it still looks a little crooked to me, so I'm just going to try. Okay. So that's going to be your front flip. And then right here, I just made a little hole in the middle for the... Um, for the tag, because it's a tag front, okay? And then on this one, because I didn't want the pocket to show above, I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay. This one, because I didn't want the pocket here to show above the tag, I'm going to cut this down right to the point at the end of the side there, right at that point, I'm going to cut down this pocket. And what I'm going to do is first make a little, wait a minute, let me see how I had it. Okay, I'm going to make a little mark right here where that point is. Just a little slash mark right there. And then I am going to take my cutter and cut this down. 
just like that. And that lowered my pocket to behind the tag, which is what I wanted. And then I am going to take my little thumb, put my little thumb notch in. Okay, so we have the flip. We have this, which will be glued down, making a pocket. And then we have this side over here, which you can decorate. Look how crooked, sorry. <laughs> Look how crooked I cut, oh my goodness. So anyway, <laughs> this is your template, okay? And also, I rounded my corners. rounded my corners and I rounded this corner okay so this side comes up you glue these sides down and then this folds up in a Z shape and then um, like I said however you want to use your template instead of going all through the measurements and everything you can just lay your template right on a sheet of paper either at the top or the bottom trace right around your template and start decorating your pretty papers into whatever shape you want. Now, all you have to remember is when you get down, when you trace around, okay, if you want to leave the bottom open to decide if you want a pocket here or um, like this one here, I flipped back. This one here, I left and flipped it back. So this opens up, this opens up. Um, what I did here was I cut off the bottom at these two places and left this bottom part and then folded that up. So, um, you know, you can do different things once you have your template. It's fun, 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 fun. So I wanted to show you guys what, um, I had, uh, what I had learned from Melina, Melina and, um, I hope you got your template. I hope I explained it well enough for you to get your template. And then um, all you have to do is use your template and make, make, make all kinds of these. They're fun. Um, sorry, I'm in a little bit of a hurry because I have to pick up my granddaughter at preschool. And if you're late, you pay extra. So I'm trying not to do that, but you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you um, try making one and decorating. And as always, I would love to have some pictures of what you came up with. And I will talk to you all soon. I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and craft, craft, craft. So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.